Lopez, this is Nikki with Call Me Ruby. I pray you're having an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening. I want to welcome my new and returning subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is my prayer that you're blessed, encouraged, and that Holy Spirit reveals much via this message. Listen, 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 love folks. I have been trying to get a message to you guys for quite some time, a few days in fact, but there has just been so much moving and things going on. I'm still traveling. There's just, listen y'all, there has just been so much going on that I have not even had the time to just steal away and share what the Holy Spirit has been revealing to me. But listen, I just pray that as I finally find the time to steal away, sit in this car and share what thus saith the Lord, that he will bring it all back to my remembrance. Because like I said, it's been a span of a few days. So Holy Spirit, I just invite you. I thank you for being present. I decrease that you may increase. May you bring back to my spirit everything you've revealed in the last few days. May it cause us to just rejoice, to know where we are, to understand that we have indeed entered this golden hour in which this is the most beautiful, the most beautiful time of our lives and forevermore. As I shared in the last message, the golden hour is one of the most beautiful. In fact, it is the most beautiful time of the day. It can be sunrise and it can be sunset, but there are these golden hues present that are just amazing and that photographers and people who are getting married can stay in the spirit. It's a popular time. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For those who are doing their wedding photos, to have their photos done during the golden hour because it is just such a beautiful time. And what a prophetic way to speak into what Abba is indeed doing in this very hour. Listen, 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 listen. Jesus has been moving. There's just so much going on. Initially, I was going to come on here and share with you all how Holy Spirit had been confirming the golden hour in so many ways since I released that last message. I've had so many of you send me screenshots, testimonies, and just so many awesome stories about how he has been confirming the golden hour to you, and it has blessed my soul. I'm going to share a few on here today because I can't share them all for time's sake, but I will break it up and maybe share a few more later. But listen, Holy Spirit wants you to know that this is indeed the golden hour for so many of us. This is that hour in which we're going to connect with our kingdom spouse and that's just going to usher in so many awesome things. Listen, I just looked up at my phone and saw that it said 3, 2, 1. Holy Spirit. <laughs> but listen, y'all, I just woke up, so excuse my raspiness, excuse the silliness. I have yet to have my coffee. I haven't eaten anything. I literally just jumped up and came out here to record while things were still quiet and whatnot. But listen, 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 listen. Holy Spirit's gonna move. So, like I said, my intentions were to come on here and share with you all all about how Abba has been confirming this golden hour. Yesterday, as many of you know, was 7-11. It was July the 11th. And of course, Holy Spirit spoke much into that. I wanted to hop on here yesterday to share the tidbits he had been giving me, the powerful tidbits he had been revealing to me. But I was traveling. We were stuck in traffic for quite some time. And by the time we got sailed to it, it was late. I was tired. I was exhausted. I was hungry. And I said, you know what? Even though it won't be 7-11, the message will still be the same the confirmations will still be the same and God will cause it to rest in the space of those who it's meant for he will cause it to spring forth he will cause it to bring joy to bring confirmation and just everything he desires so let's just begin with the golden hour confirmations okay Liz, so when I tell you all that the golden hour confirmations began to flood in immediately after my last video whether it be you all or whether it be things that I saw as I was just going about my everyday activities it was very apparent that Holy Spirit wanted us to know that we were indeed entering our golden hour. Many of us have entered our golden hour. And listen, one dear sister sent me an email with simply an image that she saw following my message, the golden hour. And it was a beautiful picture that showed up for her of the actual image of a golden hour. 
and as you see I'm showing you now but I just want to start out with that one because it's so beautiful and it just speaks into this beautiful place that we're entering into so thank you dear sister for sharing that listen Holy Spirit is always on time it's just so awesome how Jesus just causes us to just be in the right place at the right time and in the right position and posture to receive these things that he wants us to see thank you Holy Spirit and listen you all I had another dear sister send me an image of a product that she was purchasing online and she said there were only a few in stock it was a bronzer Case that in the spirit it was a bronzer and she said upon purchasing that item she did not know that it had the actual word sun kiss on the product I'm showing you now isn't that just so awesome how Holy Spirit is wanting us to know that we have entered this sun kiss place and isn't it even more prophetic that it is a bronzer something that is used for the face to give you that sun kiss look that glow that many of us are supernaturally bearing because of the residue because of where we have been because of the refining the purging and now the anointing his glory that is resting upon us glory be to God I just think it's so awesome how it was a bronzer many people are looking upon many of us and seeing that glow I think it was the day before yesterday or yesterday I can't remember my days are simply running together because I've been so busy but I remember sitting on the porch and someone saying to me wow your skin is like glowing they say either that or you're really hot I said I'll take the glow and I had another individual also tell me the same thing you look really glowy listen you all we are indeed shining in this very hour as Jesus has indeed decreed we are shining with his glory with his might because of where we have been because of what we have allowed and many people are seeing that glow they call it the glow but we know it's the glory we know it's his anointing and it's going to bring attention to Christ as we can point them to Christ and say it is because of his redemption because of our surrenderance that we are even in a position to be able to share this radiance that is radiating from us right now so thank you dear sister for sharing that image and I so enjoy the fact that it mentioned at the bottom of this product that it creates a long lasting sun kissed bronze you all excuse the noise in the back there are people we eating out here so I hope you can still hear me but I thought that was so prophetic how it said that because we are indeed in a place in which we are releasing this long-lasting sun-kissed bronzed look and listen how timely as I just shared that I had two individuals tell me that I looked glowy that I was shining <laughs> Also take note of the time that you see in which this individual, this dear sister, sent her email. As you can see, it says 1111. How prophetic as that is a number that many of us continue to see. And that's just Abba wanting us to know where we are. We are in this place of transition. We are in this place in which he is revealing so much and there's so much movement and there are so many things being shifted. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now listen, y'all. Listen, listen, listen. There's more. There were so many different emails. I had another dear sister send me an email with an image that was also very timely, very prophetic as it pertains to this sun-kissed place that many of us have entered into or are about to enter into and it was an ad for sunscreen products and the wording said embrace endless sun-kissed care embrace endless sun-kissed care notice how the last two products have emphasized endless and long-lasting that's prophetic Holy Spirit wants us to know that these unions they are indeed endless they are indeed long-lasting this radiance this glory this anointing is forever okay it's long-lasting it's endless and it's because of time spent in Jesus's presence it's because of our surrenders to Abba's plan listen you all we can celebrate and we can rejoice in the fact that we have arrived to this place of endless long-lasting sun-kissed everything that's my new phrase you all i'm gonna walk around saying i am in a place of sun-kissed everything everything is sun-kissed by abba everything is adorned with jesus resurrection power his restoration his redemption is all sun-kissed everything glory be to god you all listen i'm excited and you can also see that this ad also mentions radiance another word that we keep seeing as we have learned that we have 
entered this place of radiance, of sun kiss, everything, of God's glory just being revealed in everything we do, everything our hands touch, okay? Glory be to God, will be injected, will be just full of His glory, His grace, His might, His majesty. I've just seen just light just penetrating everything. That caption says, so you can always look like you're covered in radiance. So you can always look like you're covered in radiance. So listen, love folks, I'm being ancient to look up the definition of radiance. I could not go past it. So let's now look at the definition of radiance. The first definition, which I looked up according to the biblical definition states, radiance is defined as a perfect reflection of God. The exact representation of his being. Does that not sound like where we are right now as we've entered this sun-kissed everything place, our promised land, our land flowing with milk and honey? We are now, have been prepared to bear the reflection of God, His very being. Doesn't that just bring so much encouragement, especially after we're coming out of going through so much, just to know that it was to bring us to bearing the very reflection of our God? That just changes everything. Psalm 34 5 states those who look to him are radiant their faces are never covered with shame catch that last part their faces are never covered with shame that is also very encouraging that if we look to God listen we will be radiant we will bear the very reflection of him his being if we look to him and it says our faces will never be covered with shame and it just causes me to remember all the times in previous videos in which he spoke to our spirits we will not be put to shame and he gave us other scriptures to cause us to know in our spirits and to confirm the fact that we will not be put to shame because we looked to him because we had faith in what he said believed him and stood firmly on that which he said we are not going to be put to shame but rather he's going to cause us to bear his image he's going to cause these things that he promised us to just begin to be ushered into our lives and they are going to be a huge testimony of god's goodness of god's glory and the fact that he's indeed a righteous guy he's indeed a promise keeper he's indeed a god that does exactly what he says isaiah chapter 60 verse 5 states then you will look and be radiant. Your heart will swell and throb with joy. The wealth on the seas will be brought to you. To you, the riches of the nations will come. Are you all catching that? Wealth is coming on the sea. Riches from the nations are coming to you. It speaks into what Holy Spirit has been revealing in previous videos about this inheritance, about this wealth transfer, about the fact that he's releasing things that were stored up for us for such a time as this. And I think it's just so awesome how it speaks about how it's coming across the seas. Listen, I knew it was more to the fact that he keeps using beaches to speak into this promised land, this place of plenty, this sun-kissed place, this place in which so many things are being brought to shore. I knew there was more to the sea thing than what he had been revealing. Listen, he's saying that across the sea, we're going to receive this wealth, these riches that are stored up for us for such a time as this. As he continues to prophesy to our spirits, this is a time of multiple births. It's not just about kingdom spouses, but it's about purpose, assignment, wealth, riches, so much provision, restoration, recompense. So many things are being brought across the seas for such a time as this. And why? It's because you look to him. It's because you saw him. The first part of that says, then you will look and be radiant your heart will throb and swell with joy listen 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 that's why he keeps telling us to rejoice 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 to celebrate because this is indeed a time in which our heart is going to swell and throb with joy that's something serious you all that's deep when your very heart throbs with 
joy. That is how good Abba is to us. That is the place that he has ushered us into in this hour. A place in which our very hearts will throb and swell with joy because we look to him. Then we will look, it says. We're about to see this thing manifest because of what happened prior, because of what we allowed prior. Glory be to God. Listen, as I was speaking about how things were coming across the sea, riches, so many things that were built up for us from nations. Listen, I thought about an email that a dear sister sent me she sent me an image of a bus she saw and this bus said precious cargo and i shared it with you all in a previous video but she later sent me another image of that same precious cargo bus but she showed a different angle in which you could see a number on the back of that bus and the number was 381 but before i go into what that meant according to strong's let me mention the fact that i brought that up because i think about precious cargo as i think about this scripture and how it mentions things coming across the sea wealth and riches God is indeed delivering these things across the seas for us to indeed acquire and use in this very hour. This dear sister also sent the definition, one of the definitions of the number 381. According to Strong's, to fasten, to lay hold of, cast that in the spirit, to fasten, to cause us to cleave, be brought together, be connected, and to lay hold of. We're laying hold of all the promises, all this precious cargo that the Holy Spirit is causing to be ushered into our lives. And what they also saw just made me want to throw my phone, you all. It said it meant to kindle, to kindle, I kindle, set on fire, light, set a flame. I also saw the words lighting, kindled, touching, clinging, handle. Listen, Holy Spirit wants us to know that He's indeed delivering His precious cargo. We're about to lay hold of these things. He's going to cause us to be fashioned, to cleave, to cling to our spouses and these things. And listen, we're going to indeed shine. He set us a flame. He's indeed caused us to be kindled in this hour. And listen, it just continues to speak into this place of radiance, this place in which it is indeed our golden hour. Glory be to God. Listen, I had to also mention the fact that in that image in which you see the precious cargo buzz, look at the sky. Does that not speak directly into what we just learned that 381 means? It looks like fire. It looks like things are being kindled, set aflame. Things have been lightened. Things are illuminated. Listen, you all, Holy Spirit is just saying much. Glory be to God. Thank you so much, Sister Maria, for always sending so much awesome confirmation. And listen, that also brings to mind how when I was looking up the Golden Hour, how it spoke about warmth, and I came across definitions and numbers that meant warmth to speak into this thing. And listen, just yesterday, I kept coming across different YouTubers and different people who were talking about warmth. A scripture that I kept being led to yesterday was Ecclesiastes 4.11 that speaks about two lying down and being warm together. And it's also question how can one be warm? And Holy Spirit just wants us to know this is indeed his set time, his Kairos moment for connecting us with our kingdom spouse and that's going to bring warmth. That's going to cause things to kindle, to be set a flame. And I just thought it was so awesome how I kept being led to different people quoting that same scripture yesterday. Anywho, let's get back to more definitions of radiance. Holy Spirit just does what he wants and I'm here for it. Another definition of radiance said to sparkle. Be cheerful. Hence, from the sheen of a running stream. Catch that. From the sheen of a running stream even look at the image that i use as my thumbnail how that radiance is revealed as the sun shines on the waters it produces a radiance that is just amazing that is why many people like to capture the golden hour at the beach because of that sheen because of that radiance well guess what that is the same radiance that you are bearing now it goes on to say to flow to a symbol Flow together, catch that one, flow together, 
be the light listen we are indeed in this season in which we're flowing together and i hear your holy spirit is confirming some things i wanted to share in just a bit we are indeed aligned in this hour we are indeed flowing together he's indeed assembled all the pieces glory be to god and listen we are illuminated in this hour as it pertains to you know definitions that i saw on google that were not biblical yet they also spoke right into what abba is saying a few of those definitions were as follows radiant brightness or light warm cheerful brightness rare because this is rare many people do not choose to follow holy spirit's leading and guidance and they do not find themselves in this place of just radiance because it was too hard for some because they did not have what it took to withstand all the warfare or even the desire to allow themselves to live completely surrendered to Abba's plan to receive this radiance that many of us are now walking in. It is indeed rare. You are indeed rare. We are rare. He continues to bring that whole thing with the ruby or a diamond to my spirit as they indeed grow underground, hidden for a season, as they indeed have to endure pressure and heat and so many things to cause them to become the beautiful jewels that they are. And then they're dug up and their beauty and their rareness and their value is then greatly appreciated because of what was able to be done underground in that hidden season, in that season of isolation. Glory be to God. And listen, that is why you are rare. Radiance is a glowing light shining from something. That something is the glory of God. That something is the radiance of Jesus Christ. That something is what has taken place in that past season to cause us to illuminate, to be bright for such a time as this. Radiance is great happiness which shows in someone's face and makes them look very attractive. You all better catch that. That is where we are right now. And that is why our atoms are being awakened in this hour because it's Abba's set time. The radiance from both of us, not just us, the radiance from us and the radiance from the men as well. The atoms are shining in such a way that we are attracting each other. It's magnetic. It's God's alignment. It's God's Kairos moment being fulfilled in this very hour. And we are radiating with this awesome supernatural illumination on our faces and it's making us more attractive it's making us more appealing and that's more of a spiritual thing than an actual physical thing but listen it does affect our physicality it does make us more beautiful on the outside because as we know it's the inner man the working of the inner man that causes us to glow and be beautiful for those who are meant for our lives they are seeing us different now they're seeing the radiance they're seeing the glow glory be to god and listen ladies we're also recognizing it in our spouses as holy spirit has been revealing over time this awesome individual that he's connecting us with revealing to us secret things causing us to know what to pray for and have the ability and the desire and the will to wait because he's revealed so many awesome things about this person that makes them radiate that makes them beautiful that attracts us to them Another definition said an expression of great happiness, hope, or beauty. So overall, we see that radiance is something that comes via the Holy Spirit, God's glory. It makes us more attractive. We're glowing. We're shining. We're illuminated. And it's all for such a time as this. Glory be to God. So let's go back to the image I shared with you that started this part of the message in which she sent the sunscreen ad and Holy Spirit began to speak into that. I even appreciate how they have that sun on her back, like it's been drawn on her back, painted on her back, so to speak. It just speaks of that sun-kissed radiance, that anointing that's just going to follow you. His grace and mercy that's going to follow you because of where you've been, because of what you have allowed. It's going to follow you. God's grace, His mercy, His glow, His power, His anointing, His glory is going to follow you everywhere. Listen, this is prophetic. It's just so awesome how we are led to these awesome, awesome ads, these things that are being revealed so we can know exactly what has been done and what is going to continue to be done because of our obedience because of our sacrifice listen y'all we will always bear this radiance don't think it coincidence that 
it is missing a beat if you are a subscriber or if you just tune in from time to time you will know that holy spirit often brings up beaches as it pertains to this place of promise this promised land he often uses a beach and i believe because it's a place of so much beauty it's a place that can demonstrate things coming to shore it's a place that has you know the sun the water the sand just so many awesome things that speak into the beauty of where we are and of course the sun is just so beautiful as it shines on the water the sand it's just so awesome so thank not that it's coincidence that he uses the beach in a lot of my messages as well as a few other voices it's also a beautiful place to watch the golden hour many people go to the beach to enjoy the beauty that is just so evident when you watch it experience it from the beach there's more to the whole beach thing i even did a message in which i was talking about being found how we are being found by our spouses and how we are like those beautiful ageless pearls that are found in those oysters you know we are rare we are not common we are expensive we are valuable and when we are found by the one who our soul loves whom god has chosen for us listen 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 we are indeed treasured and seen as those beautiful pearls okay they are elegant they are timeless and they're representative of this value that has come to be because of time spent in the presence of jesus that is why we are radiating we are valuable we're priceless we're beautiful so listen think it not coincidence that those products mentioned the beach listen love bus let me give you even more confirmation that holy spirit just calls to be within the last day and just now in regards to this message i did 11 months ago catch that 11 months ago entitled found and it was talking about how we were indeed being found located by our kingdom spouses so listen, yesterday I received a comment from a dear sister who had just watched this message. Like I said, that was from 11 months ago. And she was saying how it was just so confirming that she watched this message that was uploaded 11 months ago. And I thought that was just even more confirmation in regards to where we are. We are indeed being found. We're being ushered into this promised land. Because listen, like I said, she just happened to comment on this video that I had literally mentioned the day prior when I filmed that portion of the message that was talking about this message found. Listen, you all. And then just now, as I was adding the screenshot to show you all of this very message, I look at the time in which I took the screenshot and I see that it was 4.35. But as Holy Spirit causes me to see, it's 4.35. And I knew I had come across that number before. You know how you just know that was a number that Holy Spirit led you to in the past. So I went to Strong's and looked it up. And I just could do nothing but literally laugh out loud. It meant a man, a gentleman. And if you scroll further down, you will see that it says a husband. Listen, how more intentional can Holy Spirit be? You are indeed being found by your husband. You all, I'm about to throw this phone. I am about to clean throw this phone. This literally just happened, you all. Holy Spirit highlighted that number at the top 435 and listen you all better be ready to be found and listen gentlemen it's time to find your queen if holy spirit has been leading you to do what he's been ushering you to do in your spirit to reach out to call to visit whatever they are indeed waiting to be found this is the hour for so many of us glory be to god i thought i was done with that part but when I first took the screenshot of that actual message, Holy Spirit did highlight the 456. That is the number of likes, 456. So as I went to look it up, according to Strong's, it says it means to build again. Catch that, to build again. This is speaking to those of you who are specifically waiting on a restoration, whether that be a marriage, whether that be someone you were connected to in the past. It may not have been romantic. It could have just been a friendship, but there was a separation and you know that it's your spouse. Listen, he is indeed building things again to build again. And isn't that just even more confirmation in regards to what he shared 
as I was traveling the other day and I saw that truck that said delivering the American dream since 1956 and it was indeed a truck that was carrying lumber for building homes and listen home can be a physical place but for many of us home is this relationship home is this restoration it's this new relationship for some listen that is your home and he's delivering that dream listen I'm excited. Are you all excited? Glory be to God. And listen, while we're on numbers, another number that Holy Spirit highlighted is the time in which that this sister who sent that screenshot of the sun kiss sunscreen, that sunscreen we just spoke about, the time in which she sent that was 814. And I was anxious to look that up. And as I did so, I saw that that number means a gift. A gift. What a beautiful way to confirm the gifts that are indeed being ushered into our lives in this golden hour. The actual golden hour is a gift. These promises, our spouses, our new assignments, recompense, all the things that are coming with this golden hour are indeed a gift from Abba. And as I've been talking to you all today, Holy Spirit keeps bringing to my spirit the account in which he ushered Abraham to move with his family to the new place, to his promised land. And as he did so, so much wealth, so much blessing was ushered into his life because of his obedience, because of his serenity, because of his willing to just flow in Abba's divine flow. God blessed Abraham with much, even causing him to become the father of nations because of his act of obedience, because of him trusting Abba, regardless of what it looked like, regardless of his uncertainty about moving to a new place, he simply followed Abba and look what happened. That is what Holy Spirit keeps bringing to my spirit as he has ushered many of us out of comfortable places into uncomfortable places. As I've shared many times, many of us have been in isolation for a while. We've been ushered out of it, most of us, some still in it and being ushered out of it, but we felt somewhat lonely. We felt somewhat misunderstood. We felt like we didn't fit in anywhere. And literally you all, I was sitting on the porch of some friends the other day and I was just thinking, Lord have mercy, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. All I could literally do you all was call on the name of Jesus and I began to just sing worship songs to him and he began to just feel that place. I was sitting on the porch in a rocking chair and the wind began to flow and blow so beautifully as I sang praises unto Jesus. I was just in a place where I was just crying out to him and I was saying, Lord Jesus, I know you called me into this isolation for a reason. And listen, I was actually in an isolation for a year almost, where it was just me and God. But I was ushered back into a place in which I was around family within the last year. But what's interesting, I still felt somewhat isolated. I still felt somewhat misunderstood because of where I was, because of what Abba was doing, because many people did not understand the level of sacrifice, the level of dedication and commitment I had in regards to my walk, it looked strange to some, okay? It looked over the top for some. And I felt somewhat misunderstood and even somewhat, I don't know, even around family members, I felt out of place. And that didn't really make sense to me because it's never been that way. But I understood it was because of the assignment on my life, where I was and what he was doing. It was necessary for me to focus solely on him. It was necessary for me to get everything from Jesus. It was necessary for me to be in that place for the equipping, for the purging. And now he's saying, listen, it's about to be sun kiss everything. Just as I ushered Abraham into his promised land, I'm about to lavish upon you as well as so many others who allow themselves to go through that process into their promised land in which they're just going to be blown away by what I caused to enter their lives because of their sacrifices, because of the losses. I'm bringing restoration. I'm bringing recompense. I'm bringing more than you can even imagine. I bring a double portion. And listen, I know some of these things are repetitive, but listen, when Holy Spirit repeats himself, listen, listen, listen. It's because it is an exclamation point on what he is saying. He wants you to know it is right at your door. It is knocking at your door. And I'm literally looking at the door 
in which I'm staying in my car and he began to say it's right at the door it's right at the door listen you all it was all for a reason it was not in vain you're about to see exactly why you had to go through what you went through and what some of you are even going through now the warfare has somewhat intensified also as I sat on that porch yesterday singing songs to Jesus letting him know that the isolation has been intense that I'm ready just to feel at home those are my exact words you all and he's leading me here for some reason someone needs to hear this because you've been going through the same thing and I want to encourage you I want to uplift you Holy Spirit wants you to know that you're right where he wants you and that listen I just heard my spirit the seal is about to be broken the seal is about to be broken and listen 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 this is the following day after I began to share with you all that as I was sitting in the car I kept hearing in my spirit the seal is about to be broken the seal is about to be broken I was just sitting here thinking about that today and I began to think about what a seal is and what came to my spirit is that a seal is often used as some type of protection to close something to keep something concealed to keep it from pollution or contamination and listen 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 Holy Spirit led me to Solomon 412 and my heart rejoice let me read that to you all now song of Solomon 412 states a garden shut up is my sister my bride a spring shut up a fountain sealed and listen what began to be revealed and what I was led to is that this can be in reference to Christ and his church and also in reference to a spouse we are indeed a sealed fountain a garden full of goodness that verse says that our garden is shut up it says that the fountain is sealed and that is for our protection that is to ensure that things do not happen before his set time. Just as Christ has set us apart, his church is right apart for such a time as this, so has it been in these unions. We, if we allowed ourselves to be so, were sealed. Our garden was shut. No one had access to the beauty, to the fruit, to the goodness, to the pureness of what Abba was causing to be birthed forth in this place. But now he's saying the seal is about to be broken. And the listen, the verse following, Sungo Solomon 412 talks about God causing the north and the south winds to blow. And that seal is broken. That fountain releases what it's supposed to release. That garden is no longer shut, but you're able to take use, take advantage of, enjoy the spices. As you see in that verse, they are readily available. They're able to enjoy the fruit that has been shut up for quite some time for such a time as this. Song of Solomon 4 verse 16 states, Awake, O north wind, and come, O south, blow upon my garden, that its spices may flow out. Let my beloved come to his garden and eat its pleasant fruits. Isn't that just awesome, you all? I knew there was a reason that Holy Spirit kept saying the seal is about to be broken. The seal is about to be broken. He's saying the time is now. What was brewing in you, what was shut off, what was what I was not allowing to be released, it was just for my kingdom. It was just to be used for what I'm calling you to now. It was just for the spouse of my choosing. And now I am blowing my wind and things are opening up the seal has been broken they have access so listen you all i was sitting on the porch and i was just like lord jesus i just want to feel at home i want to feel settled while i know that you had me moving and just things going the way they were for a divine purpose they're going to benefit me and my spouse my children and my purpose when i finally settled but lord i just want to feel settled and i want to be at home and when i said that i knew it did not mean a literal home it meant home as in reference to with my spouse I wanted to be at home with my spouse. I wanted to feel that connection that has been missing in my life for so long as I've been in this isolation. I want to feel home. I want to feel at one with my spouse. Every part of my being has been longing, yearning to be connected with my home. 
my spouse and listen y'all even as i'm speaking i'm remembering something i saw on the road as i was driving yesterday to this particular destination i saw a truck that just stood out to me there was a number on the truck that stood out to me and that number was 1956 on the side of this truck it said delivering the american dream since 1956 what really caught my attention in that caption and that wording is that I've been seeing so many things about dreams. I've been having some very perfected dreams. I've been hearing others talk about dreams, share dreams with me, and that can pertain to actual dreams, perfected dreams that Holy Spirit is giving you. And it can also refer to dreams in regards to things you pray for, your desires, visions that you have for your life, things that Holy Spirit himself has planted in you. Things that you know are from him. He's beginning to cause me to know that those things are about to spring forth. Those things are about to happen. So when I saw that delivering the American dream since 1956, I was just so blessed. I knew it was confirmation. And of course, you all know by now, I looked up the number 1956 according to the Strong's Concordance and it means to loose to solve now if you are a follower of this channel a subscriber or like i said someone who tunes in from time to time that is a number that was given to us a while back i can't remember how holy spirit revealed it but i do know that it was revealed to us a while back and we saw that it meant to lose to solve and i saw that as abba loosing these unions, loosing the gifts that come with that, loosing divine revelation, loosing whatever he wants to in this sun-kissed place, this promised land. And listen, do y'all hear those sirens in the back? How prophetic is that? Y'all hear those sirens? Things are indeed being loosed. The rescue mission is in place. Things are being solved. And if you look down further at those other words, you will see that it also says, I loose, release, I solve, settle, explain, interpret, decide. And if you look at that last portion under the helps word studies, you see the words loosening, untying the hard knots. Listen, listen, listen. I don't know how more intentional Holy Spirit can be to cause us to know that things have indeed been released loosened untied for this very hour the hard knots are no longer there there's been a loosening in the spirit and in the natural that's causing these things to be ushered into our lives listen i even hear that thank you holy spirit the untying of the hard knots as being the things in many of our lives that have seen insurmountable the mountain so to speak the things that have caused us to indeed need a rescue mission whether that be financially because as i said before many of us have been called out of the workforce out of a regular nine to five job to be in this place of equipping of purging of building up preparing us for our next and it's took focus and that's why he's had us in this place it's taken time with jesus it's taken time to cause him to build you up for what is next to get you right spiritually okay and many have found themselves in situations where they have literally had to rely on abba from day to day for everything okay you find yourself moving around a lot as i have moving around a lot until holy spirit settles you and listen i found so much joy in that word settle under this very number because he's settling so many of us and i knew that in my spirit as yesterday was really the first time i really cried out to alba in regards to wanting to feel at home with my spouse even if that meant we had to move around to do his work it wasn't even a physical settlement that i'm looking for i'm looking for settlement with my spouse with my covering because it's necessary in this hour we need our coverings and men need their favor they need their help me like i continue to say for where we are going for many of us whom abba has chosen for such a time as this 
we need our covering and the many that help me and that's why the labor pains have been so intense because we're at that moment of the ring of fire y'all remember that the ring of fire the ring of fire is that very moment in which you push that baby out, in which you are stretched to the maximum dilation. I think it's 10, it's been a while since I birthed the baby, but I think it's 10 centimeters. We are at that 10 centimeter mark and we are indeed feeling that ring of fire, that stretching, that final push that pushes this thing out. And that is why for some of us, <clears throat> you all excuse my throat, I've been talking a lot. <laughs> and that is why for some of us, we have felt this thing so strongly. The yearning for many of us has been on another level. And I think I had a dear sister send me an email and she was mentioning how the yearning was like never before. That's because we are at the point of the ring of fire. For those of us who have yet to give birth, what you're feeling, that warfare, that yearning, that tiredness, that whatever is going on, that's because you are at the point of pushing it out. You're experiencing the ring of fire. And as many of you know who have birthed babies in the natural, once you push that thing out, that intensity disappears. And all you focus on in that moment is that baby. And for some, those babies, because it's been prophesying multiple births, multiple births, double for your trouble, double portion for so many of us and listen as i say that i want to also mention that i continue to see twins all over my social media platforms listen holy spirit is just wanting us to know for many of us to know that there's indeed a double portion entering our lives double for your trouble as some people say because of what you allow because of what has been prophesied over your life because of what was always meant to be for your life prepare for your double portion I just literally laugh at how often he shows me twins throughout the day, you all, because he wants us to know. He wants to encourage us. He wants to uplift us and confirm what he has said. And as I continue to say for some of us, that means also literal twins, okay? Literal twins in the natural because of what those twins will be for the kingdom. And because it's prophetic, because it's prophetic, glory be to God. Let's move on to the next confirmation that I received in reference to this sun kissed place. I had another dear sister send me an email that just blessed my socks off, okay? She said that as she was listening to my message, the golden hour, it's your golden hour, her son walked into the room playing a song entitled, Your Golden Hour. You all, I wanted to throw my phone. I wanted to throw my phone, and I know some of you do as well. Holy Spirit never ceases to amaze me in regards to wanting us to know where we are. I wanted to confirm for so many of us that we are indeed entering our golden hour, the most beautiful time of our lives. You all know I like to repeat things on here because when something really blesses my soul, I'll say it about two or three times. <laughs> Her son walked into the room as she was listening to that message it's your golden hour playing a song entitled golden hour and this is the part that just really blew me away you all she sent a second email to then inform me by the way my son is only 11 years old and she was wanting me to gather that because you know that's not something that an 11 year old would usually play. So that's even more prophetic, even more confirming. But what I caught when she sent that was of course the number 11. How confirming. Listen, when Holy Spirit begins to reveal, he lays it on thick, okay? Thank you, Jesus. 11 years old and just yesterday was 7-11. And like I said, I was trying so hard to find time to release a message yesterday as he was revealing so much to me in regards to 7-11, but I'll get back to that. But listen, you all, her son playing that song, let me quickly run through the lyrics. As I said, this song is called Golden Hour and it's by an artist who goes by J-V-K-E. I don't know if that's a certain way he pronounces it, but I'm just gonna say J-V-K-E. And I'm only going to read the bridge and the chorus because that's what was highlighted to me. And it begins. I was all alone with the love of my life. 
she's got glitter for skin. My radiant beam in the night. I don't need no light to see you. Shine, it's your golden hour. You slow down time in your golden hour. For the love of my life, she's got glow on her face. A glorious look in her eyes. My angel of light. I was all alone with the love of my life. She's got glitter for skin. My radiant being in the night. Don't need no light to see you. Shine. It's your golden hour. You slow down time in your golden hour. Isn't that just spot on in regards to what Holy Spirit has been revealing to us? We are being revealed in our golden hour. Our spouses are seeing us as a radiant beam of light. They're seeing the glow on our face. They're seeing the glitter on our skin. And as I've said before, that speaks into the glory of God. That speaks into this new anointing, this place of glory. How we have allowed Abba to transform us from glory to glory. And because of that, we indeed beam. We radiate from every angle as we saw in that engagement ring ad a while back, a few videos back. I shared an image of an engagement ring ad that said, radiate from every angle. Isn't it so awesome how Holy Spirit keeps leading us to ads and all sorts of things that have the words radiate in it, shine? Because He wants us to know exactly where we are. We are indeed shining with His glory in this hour. We are indeed sun-kissed. There is glitter on our skin. There's a glow on our face. And this song just speaks right into that. I was so blessed by it. Even when it said time seems to slow down in this golden hour because we're just basking in the beauty that Abba has provided in this sun-kissed place. Listen, it's going to feel like time has indeed slowed down. While we will be hitting the ground running, we will be ushered into kingdom assignment, kingdom dominion with our spouses. It's going to be so glorious, so beautiful, so joyful that time will indeed seem to slow down. And don't we need it because of the warfare okay because of all that came with this weight we do need to be able to just bask in the beauty that will be present as we connect with our spouses it's our golden hour you all thank you dear sister for sending that that was just everything that blessed me just more than you can even imagine and i pray it blessed you all as well Okay, so let's move on to the next confirmation that Holy Spirit sent through a dear sister. Another dear sister sent me an email, and in this email, she shared that never before had she experienced so much resistance as it pertains to watching one of my videos. And she was referencing the last video I uploaded entitled The Golden Hour. And she said she finally was able to finish the message and found so much confirmation in this message, and that on July the 7th, catch the number 7. 7 on July the 7th she heard in her spirit this is your Kairos moment this is your Kairos moment and she said she knew that was in reference to her kingdom marriage and listen let that be confirmation to some of you as it pertains to your kingdom marriage as has been professing and saying so much to many of us this is indeed that Kairos moment and listen thank you Holy Spirit just today, I was on DoorDash looking at restaurants in the area that I am currently in for a few days. And I saw a restaurant that had the word Kairos in it. And never before had I saw a restaurant with the name Kairos in it. Maybe some of you had, but the fact that it was the first time for me spoke heavily into what Holy Spirit wants us to know. This is indeed our Kairos moment. Glory be to God. So he wants you to rejoice, celebrate, and just know that you know in your spirit that this is indeed your golden hour. And we'll also bless me in regards to this sister's email is the fact that she said she also heard Holy Spirit say that July was the month of movement and when she said that that just rested deep in my spirit you all because I too feel that this is indeed a month of movement for so many. That movement could be different things to many different people. But for some of us who are indeed waiting and in the very hour, in the very birthing hour of these marriages, that pertains to your kingdom marriage. So again, rejoice, 
celebrate dance because this is indeed the month of movement this is indeed the month he's going to settle many of us cause us to connect with our kingdom spouse and it will indeed be a month of movement as i said before that can pertain to different types of movement whether it be you and your kingdom spouse connecting whether it be being ushered into purpose, different assignments. It can be so many different things. Moving to a new place. Listen, let Holy Spirit reveal to you what that means for you. But as I said, for many of us, that means connecting with our kingdom spouse. That is the movement for many of us. Glory be to God. She'd heard the Holy Spirit say, this is my Kairos moment. Listen, this dear sister Sophia was not done. She was not done. She also shared a screenshot of something she saw when she looked up the word Kairos, you all. And it was a phone throwing moment, a phone throwing moment. And I simply do not want you all to miss anything Holy Spirit wants to say in this. I'm going to just take the time to read to you all the screenshot and also show you what it said that just totally blessed my socks off. Okay, it read. Photographers often call it golden hour or magic hour. The time just before sunset or just after sunrise when the lighting is that just perfect glow. Giving their subjects a soft, warm, photogenic hue. Brides schedule their wedding portraits around it for it feels almost magical. After all, everything looks just as it should during golden hour. Right? and natural and flawless. But there's an even better moment in life than golden hour. A time so true and perfect, it could have only been designed by the master of the universe, God himself. Ancient Greeks used the word kairos for this, and it means time or season there was a little bit cut off that i didn't get to see via that screenshot but you all get the gist okay isn't that just like holy spirit to cause this dear sister to look up the word kairos and the very thing that she looked at mentions the golden hour talks about the beauty in it the flawlessness of it the timing of things, how this is indeed something that Holy Spirit has his hand all in, that God himself has caused to be in our lives. It is the golden hour for many of us, okay? And it is the most perfect time, as it said, for these unions, these marriages, and all that comes with that to take place. Listen, you all, I'm blown away. Just those key words again that Holy Spirit keeps bringing to us to cause us to know we are indeed in a place where things are golden, things are sun-kissed, things are warm, they're soft, they're magnetic, they're supernatural, they're all those things that can only be, as this article said, created by the Master, our Creator, God Himself. God just wants you to know that you are in a place of sun kiss everything. And I'm going to keep repeating it as long as he keeps bringing it to my spirit. He wants you to know that despite the things you may be experiencing, the warfare, the things that seem to be coming out of nowhere, the birthing pangs, this ring of fire that we're feeling as we are pushing these things out, as we are in the final hour of pushing these things out. And while I'm speaking of that, I came across another YouTube video that appeared on my feed just a couple of days ago as Holy Spirit was downloading this message that was about crowning. We are crowning. And the Holy Spirit has revealed that to us in several messages. And again here recently as we're feeling these birthing pains. And now in the moment of this pushing, this ring of fire that is causing us to dilate fully and push these things out and see these things manifest. Okay? It's an exciting time. It's our golden hour. Listen, did he not say he was going to far exceed our expectations he probably laughs or giggles lovingly at how we think something is so big and so you know difficult or just a lot to us our own natural minds make things that to god are like nothing seem so big or even impossible he's saying think about the most awesome thing that could happen to you that could be ushered into your life and listen I can talk that and we'll talk that. I will far exceed, 
far surpass what your natural mind can conceive that you think is just so grand. I'm going to blow that out of the water, he's saying. Isn't that just so awesome? I'm getting excited just thinking about it, that he's going to bring more than our eyes, our hearts, and our minds could even conceive. And I'm hearing that double portion ringing in my spirit. Double portion as well as Amos 9.13. These things are coming right on the heels of the other. We're going to be bombarded with these things. That's going to be explosion in the natural and in the spirit when he unites us with our spouses, with our home. Listen, he's so very good. I praise you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, for what you've done to cause these things to be ushered into our lives. Thank you for your love and kindness. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your peace in the midst of all that's been going on. Lord, we just magnify you. We just glorify you. We just praise you for being who you are in our lives and for keeping our minds in perfect peace because have we not needed that, you all? Woo, I don't know what I would have done just in the last few days has just been, whew, I'm telling you all, the warfare, the distractions, there have been so many things trying to fight for my attention, but I was determined to stay focused on what God was saying, what he was indeed doing, and it has indeed kept my mind in perfect peace. It has indeed caused me to rejoice in spite of what I may be experiencing. Listen. I choose to rejoice. I choose to celebrate. I choose to just be excited and just full of what he's saying. And listen, you all, I apologize if I'm all over the place, but I'm just flowing with Holy Spirit. I'm letting him just have his way. Just the other day, the day before yesterday, I think it was. Yeah, the day before yesterday, I woke up with just hearing proposal, proposal, proposal. I even had a dream about proposals. And it was individuals that I did not know. So I know when that happens, Holy Spirit is wanting some of you to know that there are proposals on the horizon. Proposals are coming your way. And he's even said that in past messages, there are surprise proposals on the way. I woke up from that dream of seeing individuals being proposed to. And as I did so, I began to hear this old song that Kelly Price did. It's an old song that's entitled, He Proposed to Me. I don't know if many of you know that I am not one who listens to a lot of secular music. So when Holy Spirit brings a secular song to me, I know it's purposeful. I know it's something that he really wants to use to confirm and speak into what he's doing. And I kept hearing that old Kelly Price song, He Proposed to Me. He Proposed to Me. And some of the lyrics of that song as well, but that's the main part I want you to capture. There are surprise proposals on the horizon. I came across a YouTube video as I logged on to check comments or whatever that was mentioning proposals. Actually today I was preparing to film this message and I logged onto my YouTube to check my comments and I saw another YouTuber had just posted a day ago they're going to propose to you or something of that manner. I will show you the screenshot but listen you all it's just amazing how Holy Spirit will reveal something to me and he'll show me right away. He'll confirm right away because he does not want me to doubt or delay in getting you the message or receiving it for myself, okay? So Holy Spirit is on the move. This is indeed a month of movement. I think those are all the confirmations that I recall in the moment that pertain to our golden hour, sun kiss everything if holy spirit brings something else back i will share it as well but those are the things that are being revealed right now as it pertains to what he has shown me to prophesy more into this sun kiss place this promised land this golden era that many of us are in or about to enter listen i also must share another email that a dear sister debbie sent me listen 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 that just blessed me because it was for the confirmation about how he was connecting us with our kingdom spouses in this hour now i shared some time back how a dear sister of mine had sent me images of things that spoke into this new place we're entering in and one of those images was a picture she saw while she was dining out that I showed you all with these individuals who seem to be playing or dancing or just enjoying themselves. And the writing on that piece of art that was on the wall, 
stated the mystery you and I is coming and I'm showing you now the mystery you and I is coming and the Holy Spirit just spoke so much into what that meant for those of us who have entered this hour of being ushered into our kingdom marriages he spoke a whole lot into that if you want to know more about that go check out the video this is your time or this is our time in which I spoke more into what Holy Spirit revealed as it pertains to that piece of art but just the fact that this this sister was out and about and she happened to be at a restaurant and looked to the left of her she said and saw this very art this very same picture on the wall that said the mystery you and I is coming listen Holy Spirit just wants you to know that he said what he said. He is connecting you with your spouse. It's not going to be a mystery anymore, okay? Because he's connecting you and it's all going to make sense. Okay, thank you Holy Spirit for causing these things to always just flow so beautifully. I'll come back to more in regards to this message. But as I was speaking about the connecting of us, us with our kingdom spouse, I thought about another email I received just on 7-11, 7-11, July the 11th, which was indeed a very significant day. While you may not have experienced that in the natural, just know some actually did, okay? Some actually did experience some awesome things on 7-11. And I want to hear more about that. Please feel free to share if something significant, miraculous, there was a sign or a wonder that was just so amazing that you saw manifest on 7-Eleven, please share because it will indeed encourage so many. But I know that I know that there were things in the spirit realm that was indeed taking place on that day. There were things taking place in the natural. But listen, listen, listen. This dear sister shared that that morning of July the 11th, 7-Eleven, she just knew it was going to be a special day because she had been seeing 7-Eleven everywhere. So when she woke up, she said she thought, oh, it's 7-Eleven. Lord, what are you going to show me today? She then shared that she was taking the feeling out of her sofa pillow, something that she said she has done several times. And in doing so, this time, she said a piece of paper fell out. And what was found on this piece of paper blessed my socks off. Now listen, I'm probably going to butcher it because I know I'm not going to pronounce it right. But listen, as you can see, I'm showing you the image she sent me in regards to what she saw. And it says, Falta Companiero. Falta Companiero. And listen, you all, what it means is missing companion missing companion listen 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 the fact that she has filled those pillows on several occasions never to see that paper fall out until now on 7 11 a very strategic and intentional time for that to happen he's saying I'm connecting you with your missing companion. I'm connecting you with the one that your soul loves and longs for and yearns for. And she also even shared that the yearning has been so intense within the last few days as it has been for so many of us. So that's even more confirmation to the fact that Abba is causing us to connect with our kingdom spouse in this very hour. Listen, your missing companion is being found in this hour. They are being found. He's connecting you to your kingdom spouse. The mystery of you and I is coming. You see how Holy Spirit tied that together? The mystery of you and I is coming together. The puzzle pieces are indeed interlocking. And glory be to God, I want to do a skip and a hop, y'all. Because again, just this morning, and I know it was Holy Spirit. Because I woke up this morning and I grabbed my phone to see what time it was. And you all, it was a YouTuber. I'm aware of this individual because I've seen her a while back. But I had not listened to anything of hers in quite some time. And don't even know how it got on my phone. But as I picked up that phone, and I'm showing you now via the screenshot, it says something about the missing puzzle piece or something like that. I'll show you all because I'm probably saying it wrong. 
but it says something about a missing puzzle piece so do you see how holy spirit wants us to know that what you have felt was missing that wanting to be home wanting to feel settled to be at home that yearning and longing for your spouse because as i shared earlier many of us have been in isolation and even when he calls us to once again be connected to people in our lives and whatnot we still feel a sense of you know loneliness because we wanted our home we just want our home we just want to be connected with our kid and spouse because it's time it's time and listen he wants us to know by that dear sister sending me that image of that piece of paper that fell out of her sofa feeling that said Falta Comaniero I'm butchering it I'm so sorry that meant missing companion he's saying they are being found in this hour you are being found in this hour you're being discovered you're being recognized for who you are glory be to god holy spirit has been bringing so many numbers to me lately i even get confused about where i saw what but i recall that the dear sister debbie who shared the image of the mystery of you and i coming together that just spoke more into the connecting of things the connecting of us with our kingdom spouse that you turn as you saw the astral letter you in regards to people who are in a divine separation, he's causing divine reversals. He's causing things to roll, to turn, and he's used so many numbers to speak into that. More than I can even recall in this moment. But listen, she sent her message about that image at 1017. And as I said, I do not always look up numbers in regards to what time individuals send things but i was anxious to do so with this email and you all the number 1017 1017 means a prize a prize listen <laughs> is indeed a prize a gift from god a surprise so to speak in the manner and the swiftness in regards to how things happen listen 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 he is showing us in so many ways and this is a surprise it is a gift it is something that he's giving us because it's a time of restoration of recompense and he's wanting us to know listen well done well done well done well done for sticking in well done for holding firm well done for keeping the faith well done for standing firm in regards to what he said well done well done well done and listen these things that we're walking into now are indeed a prize and listen, love bucks, if you look down under the helps word studies, you will see some things that just bless your soul. It says, the prize awarded to a victor. Let that rest in your spirit. A prize rewarded to a victor. You are a victor. We are victors, as I just said, for standing firm. For holding on to what Holy Spirit was revealing to us within each given day, despite the warfare, despite it all, we stayed strong and firm in what Abba said and what Holy Spirit was revealing. We were obedient. We allowed the process to do what it do. And he's calling us victors. He's calling us victors. Let's read more. The reward that follows triumph. That deserves to be repeated. The reward that follows triumph. Listen, aren't we so blessed to be rewarded by Abba? There's nothing like a God-given gift, a divine gift, because those gifts are everlasting. Those gifts are sun-kissed. Nothing can take those things away from us, okay? When God gives us a gift, when he causes us to triumph, Listen, listen, listen. It speaks more into this everlasting love, this endless love, and the things that come along with it. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things will be added, okay? That is where many of us are now. We have sought his kingdom. We've allowed him to do what he needs to do in our lives. We've allowed ourselves to just flow in his divine flow. Regardless of what we couldn't see, what we didn't know was up ahead, all those things we allowed ourselves to just flow with him because we trusted him because he's never let us down because he's caused us to know that in him we will have the victory in him we will be triumphant so he's calling us triumphant in this hour he's saying we are victors and he is rewarding us 
Listen, listen, listen. Let me encourage you with a few scriptures, shall I? The first scripture is Galatians 6, 9, which states, And let us not grow weary of doing good. For in due season we will reap. What does that say? We will reap. And when in due season, listen, has not Holy Spirit said in so many ways that this is indeed our due season? This is indeed the hour of the birthing. We are in the moment of this ring of fire in which we're feeling all the birthing pains of having to be stretched in so many ways to cause this thing to be manifest, to be pushed out for such a time as this. We are indeed in the reaping season, okay? And take note of that last portion of the scripture. If we do not give up, let me say that again. If we do not give up, if you, if I do not give up, what does it say we receive? What does it say happens? We will reap in our due season. So we are now in that place in which we are reaping. We're seeing those things manifest. We're seeing these multiple births because we did not give up. Did some want to at times? Yes. But listen, Holy Spirit built us up so strong that we did not give up. Because we knew that what we were birthing was far more greater than the warfare. It was far greater than just us. But there were many who were depending on what Holy Spirit was causing to be birthed forth in us. Many were depending on what we were learning at the feet of Jesus. Many were depending on our testimony, okay? The residue, thanks be to God, of what was going to come out of that place of purging, that place of refining. We could not give up because there were many who were depending upon us being fully surrendered to Abba, our spouses for one, our future children for one, our present children. Just those who are going to impact via our ministries, our marriage, our assignments, all that rested upon us not giving up. And because of that, Holy Spirit is saying, well done, well done. You did not give up. It is your due season. Make way for all the fruit. Make way for the harvest and all that you will now reap in this season. Glory be to God. Hebrews eleven six says, And without faith, it is impossible to please him. For whomever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. Y'all catch that? He rewards those who seek him. It reminds me of what I just quoted, Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things will be added unto us. If we seek his will for our lives, his purpose, his assignment, what he placed us here to do, even letting him lead us to the one of his choosing, we will reap all that comes with that. He will add on. Catch that. He will add on, not us. Not us toiling, not us trying to please people, not us trying to hustle. You know, we live in a hustle culture where you work hard, you got to do all these things. Abba is saying, seek me first. I can give you secrets to unlock the things I have for you. I will reward you simply for believing I am who I say I am. Simply believing that I exist, okay? He's saying, draw near to me. As many of us have. In my last season, in that season of isolation, he was all I had, you all. I spent almost every moment of my day drawing near to him, allowing him to fill me with everything I needed. He was all I had in that moment. I had lost so much. Listen, I'm going to tell y'all my full testimony one day, but I had lost so much. I was in a place of, Lord, I don't know what's going on. But I will trust you. I know that it's all going to lead to a place of victory. I know you did everything because you're going to give it all back greater and then some. I knew there was purpose in it. But it didn't feel so great in that moment. But listen, Holy Spirit filled me with everything that was needed. I worshiped, I prayed, and listen, he provided for my every need. He built me up in my inner man. He gave me joy in the midst of it all. He built this ministry in the midst of it all. So he's saying, draw near to me. Without faith, 
It is impossible to please him. It's impossible to please him. So many of us are standing in this place of being in this golden hour because we chose to draw near to him even in the most unfortunate even in scary times where we couldn't see what God was doing, even when many of us were stripped of things and we did not understand why we trusted, we drew near to him, we had faith, we believed despite what we saw, and now we are entering this golden hour where it's going to far surpass everything we could ever imagine for ourselves. And listen, he wants someone to know this because this is not (laughs) at all what I thought he was going to bring up, but he wants someone to know to stand firm, stand strong. He said what he said, continue to have faith and know that he sees you, he has not forgotten you. And because of your faith, because of your trust in him, you're going to see this golden hour and it's going to cause you to forget all the things that brought you pain, confusion, hurt, and whatever else. This is your golden hour. So rejoice, rejoice. Your mourning has been turned to joy. As the scripture just said, he is rewarding you for seeking him. You could have sought anything else. You could have turned to things that were not from Abba. You could have turned to things that did not please Jesus' heart. You could have turned to things that did not represent who he was or what he was trying to do in your life. You could have turned to so many things. You could have just gave up. But you chose to seek him. And that's why you're being rewarded. Colossians 3, 23 through 24 states, Whatever you do, work heartily. As for the Lord and not for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You are serving the Lord Jesus Christ. So listen, to sum it all up, When you're serving Jesus Christ, when you're doing his work, there's an inheritance that comes with that. There is a reward that comes with that. What belongs to him belongs to you. Listen, I found a theological definition for what it means to inherit. And what it said was to inherit means to receive an irrevocable gift with special emphasis on the benefactor and the recipient. And for us, that benefactor is Jesus. We are the recipient of these things because of our relationship with Jesus, because we are his children, because we are heirs of him, because he died, sacrificed his life to redeem, to restore, and is the son of God. We automatically, when we choose to follow him, when we accept him as Christ the savior and live a life that's rendered to him, Listen, we become heirs of him and all that belongs to him belongs to us. Listen, we don't have to toil, as I said earlier, it's given to us because of righteousness, because we have faith. We even see in scripture where it talks about all the things that Abraham acquired was based on the fact that he had faith, on the fact that he was surrendered, on the fact that he was obedient and he trusted God. He became the father of nations. God himself told Abraham that he was indeed a benefactor of his covenant. He was an heir. And we, when we receive Christ as our Savior, we become heirs because of what Jesus Christ has done to set that up for us. Glory be to God. So all these spiritual blessings, all these material blessings that Jesus is causing to rain down on us, listen, they are irrevocable. They cannot be taken away. Nothing can stop but thus saith the Lord. Amen. I did not know Holy Spirit was going to go there, but that was mm -mm good, was it not? Thank you, Holy Spirit, for that. It just really caused us to see how he wants us to know we are entering this golden hour of sun, kiss, everything. Everything that he's lavishing upon us, bestowing upon us, has been sun kissed by him. It's a divine gift as we keep seeing a divine prize, a divine reward that can only be obtained by what we just came out of. By living according to his divine will, purpose, and plan for our lives. And we have now entered that Kairos moment in which it is now just being lavished upon us. Glory be to God. Listen, love bugs. 
Holy Spirit has been using so many different ways to cause us to know that we are indeed in our promised land. We've been ushered into this golden hour. And one awesome, cute way that he did this was just the other day, me and my daughter were watching an old school movie, The Land Before Time. That is one of our all time favorite movies to watch together as a family. And we watched literally all of the different versions, the different movies of The Land Before Time. So listen, you all, we were watching the original, the very first Land Before Time movie in the hotel room the other day. And as I was judging off to sleep, I made it to the end of the movie, all, but I was listening to the song that was playing as they wrote the credits. And the lyrics began to catch my spirit. They began to, the Holy Spirit began to unction my spirit, and I began to pay attention to the lyrics of this song. And listen, y'all, this song was just so prophetic. It was on time, and it spoke to what Abba is causing to be in these unions and in this promised land. The name of the song was If We Hold On Together. If We Hold On Together. And Diana Ross was the artist that was singing the song. Listen, I will take a few minutes to share the lyrics with you all. And I just pray Holy Spirit reveals to you what he desires. Read these lyrics and they begin as. Don't lose your way with each passing day. You've come so far. Don't throw it away. Live believing. Dreams are for weaving. Wonders are waiting to start. Live your story. Faith, hope, and glory. Hold to the truth in your heart. And the chorus states, If we hold on together, I know our dreams will never die. Dreams see us through to forever. Where clouds roll by for you and I. Verse 2 says, Souls in the wind must learn how to bend. Seek out a star. Hold on to the end. Valley, mountain. There is a fountain. Washes our tears all away. Words are swaying. Someone is praying. Please let us come home to stay. Then it goes back to the chorus. I'm going to skip over that because I read that before and jump right to the bridge which states, When we were out there in the dark, we'll dream about the sun. In the dark, we'll feel the light. Warm our hearts, everyone. And then it goes into the chorus again with a few variations. So I'll read that part. If we hold on together, I know our dreams will never die. Dreams see us through to forever. As high as souls can fly, the clouds roll by for you and I. I don't want to try and break that down bit by bit. I want you to allow Holy Spirit to reveal to you that which He desires, but does it not speak into this sun-kissed place? Does it not speak into these connections, these unions that He's causing to take place in this hour? One of the lines that stood out to me said, Dreams are for weaving. And Holy Spirit has highlighted a number several times in the past. I can't recall which word it was that spoke into this weaving together of stories. It was a weaver's beam or something like that, that the number meant. That just speaks into the fact that he has woven these stories together so beautifully and that these dreams, some literally, these dreams that he's given us, cause us to have during our sleep, are indeed about to be revealed. They're about to manifest. Listen, I said I wasn't going to share any kind of revelation, but listen, I'm flowing with Holy Spirit, okay? He is the one that runs the show here. But the first verse of this song, it talks about not losing your way, not giving up. And did Holy Spirit not just say that earlier in this message? He spoke so much about how we are being rewarded because we did not give up. Well, this very song, the very song was talking about not giving up and listen I was watching this movie with my daughter about three days ago and this song began to you know ring out in my spirit 
as I listen to it. And isn't it just so awesome how it's spoken to this very thing that I'm speaking about now? I had no idea he would have me talking about, you know, how I was just so longing for home, being in my kingdom spouse, being in settlement, and how he was going to use this message to encourage those of you to hold on. I am rewarding you. It spoke about living to believe. Live to believe. Always have faith in what Holy Spirit is revealing to us. That is what living really is. And it talks about the wonders that are about to start. Living these stories. Faith, hope, and glory. And holding on to the truth in your hearts. You all, how more straightforward could he be? It's literally verbatim what he spoke about earlier in this message. And listen, I literally forgot to share this song. So I had to come back and add the fact that this song was indeed playing after a movie that my daughter and I were watching. And listen, before I even go into more of the song, the very movie was about Littlefoot. Listen, Holy Spirit, I hear you. was about this dinosaur Littlefoot being separated from his family. There was this great... Um, earthquake or something that caused the earth to split in half and it divided families cast that in the spirit it divided family members from one another and the whole movie was about this dinosaur little foot and his friends finding their way to the great valley the great valley was this place where food was in abundance where the family was where it was plush where it was warm where everything they needed was provided catch that in the spirit it speaks into this promised land this sun-kissed place listen and my daughter randomly just asked to watch this movie it was not even on the radar she randomly asked to watch this movie one night as we were preparing for bed so listen holy spirit had his hands all in this and listen at the end of this movie of course little foot and his friends were united with their family members that speaks into this place of connection, the two becoming one, restoration. Listen, not only were they connected with their family members, but they were ushered into this new place that was sun-kissed, that provided everything they need. The food they ate was in abundance. There was a lots of water, and all the dinosaurs got along in this place. It was not about what type of dinosaur you were, but it was all about knowing how to share the place share the abundance listen holy spirit is speaking he is ushering us into this new place and this song was just more confirmation to that and listen in verse 2 we see that it spoke about souls in the wind learning to bend and i just see that as that past season that place of purging that place of refining that place of allowing holy spirit to do what needs to be done in our lives we have to be willing to be stretched to be molded to be bended so to speak for this next hold on to the end it states valley or mountain that speaks into listen everything that we've had to endure through this process there are times we've been in the valley and there are times when we've been on the mountaintop and then it seems to go back down again and listen it was necessary for us to hold on to the end hold on until he finally ushered us into this place of promise and that is where many of us are there has indeed been a downpour a refreshing that we experienced then and that we are experiencing now listen it has indeed washed away all of our tears many of us indeed did cry tears Tears of frustration, of irritation, of just longing, of just yearning, not understanding what was going on. But listen, listen, listen. Abba has indeed provided a fountain, okay? And it's bringing this refreshing. And that's why he keeps using mints and things of that nature to speak into this refreshing that he's causing to just pour into our lives. And that can be via our kingdom spouse. That can be via the restoration that's upon us, this recompense, this just place of replenishment, this place of just rejuvenation. Listen, there is just so much going on. And that is why he's saying there is a fountain okay and it's just washed away all the tears words are swaying someone is praying your words your confession 
fashions have indeed kept you encouraged, uplifted, and renewed. That is why he had me coming on here, sometimes seeming to say the same thing, but just presenting different confirmations and things that Holy Spirit was revealing to further encourage you. The message has been the same. I said what I said, but he's continued to cause a downpour, a flooding of different scenarios, numbers, situations, just so many things to cause us to know that we are indeed where he declared us to be. We are entering our promised land. Some are already there. Things have shifted. Glory be to God. Things have shifted, okay? And that's because of your words, your confessions, declaring what Holy Spirit said to you, revealed to you. It kept you in the game. And listen, someone was indeed praying. You were praying. Jesus was praying on your behalf. Other people in your life, your destiny helpers, whomever, they were praying for you. And that last line, my goodness, that last line that says, please let us come home to stay. I want to scream as I read that part to you all today because it's spoken to what I shared with you all earlier of how I was sitting on the porch just yesterday, just yesterday, just crying out to Jesus about this longing, just longing and yearning for this home, this settlement more than ever before. And here I am reading these lyrics to you all and it says, someone is praying, please let us come home to stay. <sighs> Wow, you all, I'm almost speechless at that very part. That just lets us know that Holy Spirit hears us, as we know He does. But when He confirms it in such a powerful way, it just hits different, right? Someone is praying, please let us come home to stay. Abba wants you to know Him today. He's allowing these love stories to be manifest. He's allowing them to finally come to a place of beginning, so to speak. While it is already written, you're about to live your story out as this song said. It's time to live out this story. He's heard your plea. He's heard your prayers to finally come back home. To finally have this marital settlement manifest in your life. And it's about to happen. It's your golden hour. And he's showing us via songs, prophetic voices, via movies, via ads, nature, buses. Listen, so many different things he's using to show us. It is time for us to come home to settle into a marital settlement. And listen, love bugs, this is going to bless your socks off. As I was looking at the screenshot that I took of the Land Before Time song that had the name of the artist, the time in which it was created, I saw the length of the song and the length of the song was 4 minutes and 7 seconds. 4 minutes and 7 seconds. And how Holy Spirit unctioned me to see it and read it was as 407. So as I looked up the number 407, according to Strong's, you all... It was another phone throw moment. I've had several in this message, okay? That number means Canaan. Canaan. And that was Abraham's promised land. That is where Abraham and his family journeyed at the instruction of Abba. You all, listen. That's not a coincidence that all throughout this message, I have been talking about our promised land. I've been talking about Abraham and his obedience and what that brought him and in this very movie it's talking about finding the great valley which was indeed a promised land of sorts in this movie it was a place of abundance and if you look up Canaan you will see that it is known for being a place of abundance a land flowing with milk and honey a blessed place listen Holy Spirit is wanting you to know in all sorts of ways that you are being ushered and some have been ushered into this promised land, into that Canaan, into this place that is just full of so much abundance. You all, <laughs> that just blessed me that that very number, the length of this song was four minutes and seven seconds, meaning Canaan. Our promised land is here. There are two different numbers that I've come across in the last couple of days that speak into a high place to ascend 
to mount up and he just wants us to know that in this place this promised land this sunkissed place we will indeed be high we are at a high elevation we have ascended we have come up and listen 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 this is just really going to blow your socks off just the other day i was on google and when i clicked on the google icon what popped up was yet again as it has several times in the past the ad for that new cinderella movie the cinderella movie that i referenced a lot in past videos the original version several years ago where they just did a remake catch that in the spirit they just did a remake that speaks into those divine reversals okay starting over again all that good stuff and listen so i took a screenshot of that image because it was such a huge confirmation but listen it was so cool that the following day i think it was i heard my daughter in the other room singing impossible and that is the song from the cinderella movie the original version in which cinderella was singing about impossible things happening every day and i knew in that moment it was not a coincidence that she was singing that song right after i had literally just screenshot that ad that movie trailer or whatever it was the day prior and listen 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 as i was going back to look at that screenshot i saw that the time in which i took that screenshot was 11 16 11 16 so of course i went to look up that number according to strong's and what did it say that number 11 16 means a high place you all i wanted to kick my shoes off i said lord you have showed me in so many ways the various numbers that we are indeed in a high place i almost literally could not help laughing each time he showed me a different number that meant high place to ascend to mount up he really wants us to gather that we have indeed ascended we have elevated we are in a new place listen you all I almost forgot to mention, thank you Holy Spirit for bringing it back. I'm telling you, sometimes I get the numbers confused because he brings them so fast. But listen, that song that I just mentioned that came from the movie, The Land Before Time, the year in which that song was released was 1988. 1988. And when I looked that up, according to Strong's, the definition was Heather. Heather. And listen, does that not speak further into the fact that he has ushered us and about to usher many into this promised land? If you look up the biblical definition of hither, you will find that it means to this place. Listen, you all better do a cartwheel to this place. Holy Spirit wants you to know that he has and is ushering you to this place. And the definition goes on to say that that word hither is used with verbs signifying motion catch that you all signifying motion listen he said in so many ways this was indeed the time the era the moment of movement of rolling of things turning listen this very definition says this place it means motion to arrive at a place to be at a place that place is our promised land. To come hither, to proceed hither, to bring hither. Listen, this is indeed a drop the mic moment. He said what he said and the confirmations are endless. They are just coming in like a flood. He's not going to allow us to doubt what he said because he just keeps bombarding us, raining down all these confirmations because we are here. Isn't that just awesome? And listen, I almost forgot to mention something else that was just so confirming as it pertains to that Land Before Time song by Diana Ross. I was anxious to look up the name Diana and what I saw was that it means divine, heavenly. It also can mean light, luminous, giving light. And it also even mentioned daylight in the sky. How timely and how confirming. As Holy Spirit continues to reveal to us, we are indeed in a season of shining bright for Him, in which His glory is upon us heavily. It's just so awesome how He keeps confirming that to us in so many ways. The name Diana means giving light, divine, this divine gift, these divine gifts that Abba is lavishing upon us, heavenly. Listen, listen, listen. He's just showing out. Holy Spirit is showing out.
And listen, another number that I came across as I was looking at my screenshots to see the numbers that Holy Spirit had highlighted to me during this message, a number that stood out to me on YouTube was the number 39. And as I looked up the number 39, I saw that it meant a holy place, a sanctuary. And Holy Spirit is just wanting us to know that that is indeed where we are. As he continues to show me in this message and to let you all know, we are indeed in a high place we have ascended we have mounted up as eagles we are on the mountaintop because of our surrenders and because we've allowed ourselves to become a sanctuary for him and i'm hearing a song we sing in church lord prepare me to be a sanctuary pure and holy tried and true with thanksgiving I'll be a living sanctuary for you. That's what I'm hearing as I speak about this coming up hither, this holy place, this sanctuary. We've allowed ourselves to be a sanctuary for Jesus. We've allowed him to take residence within our hearts and our spirits. And because of that, he has indeed equipped us and prepared us for this sun-kissed place that we're now entering in. And that's why he keeps showing me numbers that mean holy place, a sanctuary, hither to ascend, a high place, because that is where we are, you all. That is where you are. That is why it took the time it took. I know it's been hard. I know it's been a struggle. I know this birthing is really real right now. But listen, you know and you feel in your spirit that you are indeed in a high place, a holy place. You are a sanctuary for the living God. You are prepared and ready to do the things that he's equipped you to do in this hour. You are his sanctuary. And listen, it's because of that that you are radiating. It's because of that that you bear his glory, his anointing. And Holy Spirit just wants you to know that he is so very proud of you. He is excited about presenting you, causing you to be elevated in this place. You will have favor with man and God. That's a good place to be. You will have favor with not only God, but with man. He will cause people to give unto your very bosom because of the radiance, because of the glory, because of his favor that is resting heavily on you. I keep hearing that in my spirit. My favor is resting heavily upon you and you're about to see it everything that your hand touches is just going to prosper it's going to do what abba desires it to do it's going to produce much fruit for his kingdom you will not live in lack any longer for those of you who are experiencing lack whether it be finances whether it be resources no matter what it is you are in a high place you are in a place of abundance and that's why he keeps speaking into this banquet hall the feasting and all that's taking place in this hour the rejoicing the merriness listen y'all it's a beautiful place and listen love bugs to confirm the fact that we are indeed in the banquet hall about to enjoy this good food this feasting this merriness all that stuff the abundance i came across a number on my youtube page it was the number of subscribers at the time in which i looked at it that particular day and it was 2894 2894 and as i looked up that number i saw that it meant a basket a large basket and as I looked further down it said for carrying food a large basket for carrying food how confirming and prophetic that I saw that as Holy Spirit has been decreeing that we are entering this banquet hall this era of feasting this abundance our promised land and listen to further drive that home it wasn't long after that that I came across another number 402 and the definition of that number is food eating so listen he wants us to know that we have entered our season of feasting the harvest is here we have indeed reaped what we have sown in that last season and he wants us to rejoice i just keep hearing rejoice rejoice in the lord always and again i say rejoice is what i'm hearing in my spirit glory be to god
Listen, before I conclude, I just want to mention that, as I said earlier, I was trying so hard to get a message out yesterday because it was 7-11. I just thought it was a very awesome day to do so. But Holy Spirit had other plans. But listen, you all, one thing I want to mention that really just blessed my soul is that as I prepared for bed and logged onto my YouTube, the first thing that I saw, and I mean the very first thing that popped out at me, as I logged on was a wedding, a live wedding stream that had been recorded earlier of another YouTuber and she actually was having her preparation for her wedding life and the actual wedding life and she is a YouTuber, I'll show you the screenshot, who often speaks about kingdom spouses and you all, my soul was blessed to see that as I was going to bed on 7-11, she got married, guess that you all, on 7 11 that should give all of you all of us who are standing for these kingdom marriages so much hope she couldn't have chose a more fitting day to have this wedding and i thought it was just so awesome that she was allowing those of us who have been standing for kingdom marriage as well to be able to enjoy this moment it just really brought so much encouragement to so many of us to see this thing manifest, to see someone who spoke so much into kingdom spouses and shared so much, to see it actually manifesting you all. And I know it was intentional. I know it was strategic on part of Abba, and I just celebrate this dear sister. I celebrate her. I celebrate what she has done to encourage, uplift, and bring hope to those who are standing for kingdom marriage. And I just decree and declare the blessings of God in favor on her union. Isn't that encouraging you all? What a way to bring in 7-Eleven. What a way to speak into the fact that God said what he said. What a way to show that Abba is connecting us in this hour, that we are indeed in our golden hour. Be encouraged. The testimonies are rolling in. This thing is happening. And listen, I only have two ruby drops to share with you all today. Two very quick ruby drops as I pretty much shared everything with you all prior already. As I was preparing to upload this message, as I was trying to finish this message, I had one of my cousins send me an email. Actually, it was three videos via email of videos that she took while she was driving. And when I saw what the videos were, my mouth dropped. They were of the golden hour. It was the golden hour and she was just driving. And she had no idea that I was recording a message that was again talking about the golden hour. So that's just an awesome confirmation to those of us who are entering our golden hour and in our golden hour. So listen, this next group job is just so awesome. I had a dear sister, Leticia, Leticia, I hope I'm saying your name right, who emailed me and she was saying for years she has been seeing the number 616 her child's birthday is 616 another child was due to be born on 616 she's seeing it on food receipts and listen she sent me an image of a bus that she saw with the number 616 on it and if you all recall that's actually a number that holy spirit caused to be highlighted to me a while back that indeed means to give birth Listen, Holy Spirit said what he said. We are in active labor. We are at the moment of the ring of fire in which we have been stretched and these multiple births are about to be released. Listen, it is indeed the birthing hour. Thank you, dear sister, for sharing this. That just blessed me more than you realize. It is indeed the set time for birth. And listen, Holy Spirit always wants us to receive all the confirmation we can get because he's just that good. And the time in which I took my screenshot of this bus with the 616 was 1209. And of course I saw that as 1209. And as I looked that number up, according to Strong's Concordance, listen, I saw that it meant to receive. Go ahead and throw the phone, just not too hard. Go ahead and throw the phone to receive. I take, receive, accept, welcome. I'm thinking about the scripture that talks about taking things by force. And listen, this is just more confirmation that we are receiving these things in this hour. And how prophetic and confirming that 
as the 616 means to give birth and then we see that 1209 means to accept to welcome to receive listen i'm about to dance look at how he just ties all these things together you all this is indeed a time of celebration of rejoicing the shift has taken place we've been ushered into these promised lands our canaan and listen it just goes up from here welcome to your promised land and well done well done i hope this encouraged you holy spirit had a lot to say so listen love bugs welcome to this golden hour it's a beautiful time rejoice be encouraged we're here listen i kid you not as i said we're here someone walked into the room so i immediately cut off my filming so it wouldn't be a distraction to you all in doing so i must have hit something on my phone but what appeared on my phone next was the thumbnail from my message your time has come i just wanted to scream you all because that was nothing but holy spirit when i say it's our time i cut off my message so you all wouldn't hear all the noise and talking in the background to find that thumbnail on my screen that I did not even know I still had for the confirmation that it's our time. This is the Kairos moment. This is the moment of connection. He is settling us. We are about to be home. So listen, I want to thank those of you who have continued to send me the awesome confirmations that Holy Spirit is revealing to you, sharing your awesome, awesome, and powerful testimonies. Thank you for your prayers, your kind comments, all the things you share in the comment section of the videos that indeed encourage, uplift, and bless those who read them. Listen, y'all, it's a beautiful time. And listen, I want to thank those of you who have given to this ministry. May God bless you abundantly. May he bless you a thousandfold. May he cause increase to burst forth in every area of your lives. I love you all so very much with the love of Christ. I'm excited about your testimonies. This is indeed our golden hour and this i want to encourage you all to just praise the lord even the more in the coming days he is worthy of our praise he has done so much as i've said before if he never did another thing we have more than enough to praise him to glorify and lift him up be magnified oh god be glorified our king this is indeed a hour in which we're going to shine 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 and it's going to draw so many to christ listen again i love you all and until the next time be blessed